now that Wanda's gone, time to take her pin down and pull up all this electric fencing and the posts and all that stuff and put it away. This is, we're gonna clear out all the little small scrub bushes and just leave mostly the larger trees in here and clear this area out. The pigs tilted up really well through there and I wanna take advantage of before, you know, the, the work they did before I let it all grow back up. So we're gonna get out here this morning and start cleaning all this up and see if we can make a little progress. We have rain in the forecast. It's sunny right now, but uh, we're gonna see what we can get done before it gets here. I used this poly string for the fencing for the pigs and honestly if I had it to do over again I wouldn't use it um, I'm not gonna say where I bought it but everyone that's in the US I'm sure you've seen it you recognize the color but it just just doesn't last it's okay for temporary fencing but what happens is these are little you can see this they're just little tiny strands of wire that's wrapped around this string and they fray and they break it never was pulled very tight but it just it breaks and then you have to go back and repair it and it was a constant I've only it's only been out here for about a year and it was just a constant battle every month I had a couple places where I had to fix it uh, the poly rope it's bigger it probably work better but this stuff is I won't use it again. I'll go back to using uh, a good heavy wire or something else. But this, this is a no-go.
I know watching me clean up these knots and all the rough stuff on the inside of the house gets really boring. It's boring doing it, but it's it's part of the process. Hopefully, uh, I'm about to get this wrapped up. I'm probably not going to film a ton of it. They do time lapse on a lot because, and it is just boring. But I want to get this done, get it knocked out, and um, we're going to get this, try to get this gray off of here, get all this cleaned up, and maybe start to stain. I don't know yet. Uh, still haven't picked out the final color, but we're getting there. Um, I just need need to get some of this stuff cleaned off one step at a time. So I'm going to get busy, start trying to get the rest of the house done on the inside, and um, take it from there. All right, I uh, wanted to go over the reason I decided to build a button pass style log home. Um, hopefully it's not too dark in here. It's extremely windy outside, so bear with me. Uh, when I first bought this property years ago, this was the local trash dump. It was, there, you, you couldn't drive through here on a side-by-side -side or a four-wheeler. There was garbage everywhere. There was a huge ditch they dug with a track hoe I mean, just pile garbage in it and would burn it and then pile it and uh, scrap metal. I mean, this place was completely covered with everything. It hadn't been mowed in a decade. It was pretty bad shape. So I bought it and started cleaning it up and was trying to decide what I was going to do for a house. Originally, I was going to build a barn house. Um, just a great big monitor barn style house. Um, lots of space. They go up pretty quick uh, within just... A month or two you're working on the inside but I really wanted another log house I've I've worked on several log houses um, I was originally gonna do a full scribe log home uh, I would have to import my logs you're not gonna find logs in my area this long to do a full scribe house there's just no way um, these logs and this whole part of the country are just crooked. They look straight when they're standing up, when they're actual trees. Once you cut them down, they're not. They're very crooked. So I was gonna have to bring in logs. Um, I've worked on two houses like that. They're beautiful when they're done. Everything is perfectly fit. There's no gaps. Um, they're just pretty. But it came down to a time issue. I didn't have a ton of time to work on it. Um, it's uh, my job kept me away from here for three weeks of the, of the month so i would have a total of seven days to drive 800 miles round trip work on the house work in the round weather uh and everything else so the the button pass style house man it just the, the logs go up so fast uh, the rest of the part of, of the house takes a while to do but if i was to try to do a house this size 
in a full scribe log home like most people are used to seeing working by myself i'd still be working on logs i mean it would just take forever and i didn't want to do that uh, this has been a slow going project as it is um, i am working by myself on camera it doesn't look like it's that big of a house but you know we're we're just shy of 4,000 square feet here so it's a pretty decent sized house and this isn't this isn't the all of it if i finish the house the way i designed it uh it's over 7,000 square feet i just did this part to get moved in and we're closing in on it now but that's, I mean, that's, I get a lot of questions, you know, why the gaps are so big. And, well, that's just part of working with what you have. All these logs came off of this place. Um, I, didn't, I didn't pay for logs. I didn't buy any. They all came from right here. I still have some left over. Matter of fact, I can walk over to this window. If you look way down the hill, there's still one log rack. It's still down there with probably 30 logs left on it. I don't know if I'm going to need them for anything, but they've been treated and they've been rolled around and uh, most of them are in really great shape. I could use them for something else if I need to. But, but that's the reason why I get a lot of questions on what I'm using to fill the gaps, why the gaps are so big. The gaps are going to get filled with um, rock soil insulation in the center and then it's a cement based mortar uh, chinking on both sides of it so that it's insulated in between. There's no thermal bridging from the inside to the out. It's, no, it's not as pretty as, you know, as a full scribe house where there's just no gaps hardly. But when you're working one by yourself, you have to compromise somewhere. And that was my compromise. I just wanted to knock several years off my build. Uh, if I could have hired a crew to come out here and do this, then I may have done that. Have them throw up a quick shell and I finish it out. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do it myself. So that's why, that's why it is the way that it is. And it's, you know, yeah, it takes a little bit longer, but when it's all said and done, I'll have less money in this house than uh, a lot of people have in a 15 to 1800 square foot stick built house, just because I'm doing the work myself. I've also been getting some questions on what I'm using to grind these knots down with. They're, they're, I mean, you don't have any trouble grinding them except for in the very center, the pitch. Um, if you're not careful, it will gum up your sanding wheel and you have to keep swapping them out. This is all I'm using. It's just a, this one happens to be a DeWalt. Uh, they had these in five packs on sale. Uh, I think I used eight of them or nine to do the whole house and that's less than $15. So I don't really... I don't try to stretch them out when they start getting to where they don't really sand i just take it off and grab another one it's 15 dollars to do the whole inside of this house i'm not going to complain they still work these are actually made for metal uh it's still works great for metal they just get gummy with the the resin or the pitch in these pine logs when you're grinding on the knots and stuff so that's all i use it's cheap it doesn't take long i've got maybe three days in the whole inside of this house getting all those knots knocked off and smooth i'm getting ready to uh soft wash everything i may come back here and pressure wash first and then soft wash which will get rid of the gray and then may go ahead and stain it i don't know it's starting to get starting to get winter time here we're in the 30s today but that's i just wanted to go over that right quick i've been getting a lot of questions and I'm gonna take a few minutes away from all this boring sanding uh, and just answer a couple of questions. So that's it guys. It's time to go collect eggs and call it a day. We'll see you on the next one. Is that all of them? Pretty good haul for a day though. See how many you got? Hold it up there.